Welcome back to Tea Kitchen. Today is another sheet day. I love sheet day. Yeah. When I was young, I was confused between Thai mochi and the Japanese mochi. It's completely different. Thai mochi is baked, so the outer shell is brittle with the mung bean filling. While the Japanese mochi use the glutinous rice and they pound it until it turns to sticky dough with the red bean filling. So I have like a really crazy idea to combine those together to make a fusion mochi. So I will use the mochi rice as the outer shell and mung bean for the filling. I really have no idea how they're gonna turn out. And another twist that I'm going to add in is that I will mix the mochi rice with the Thai black sticky rice. It's very nutritious and it's quite good as well. I still need the Japanese mochi rice because I'm not sure that the Thai sticky rice can turn into the sticky dough or not. Oh, this recipe is gluten free and it's suitable for vegan as well. For the mochi, I have two cup of Japanese mochi rice and I have one cup of Thai black sticky rice. You can see that the grain is completely different. This one is short grain, and but this one is a long grain. I will mix those together. And about 400 ml of water to cook the rice. And for the mung bean filling, I have 225 gram of mung bean. This mung bean that I bought, they already removed the outer green shell out. In Thailand, we call it the golden beans. I already soak it for five hours, and then I steam it until it's cooked and then I smash it and then I grind it until it's turned into like this fine fluffy texture and 80 gram of unsweet shredded coconut this one is a fresh one and 135 gram of sugar my original recipe have 40 gram of butter if you like rich buttery flavor you can add 40 gram of butter at the end it will enhance the flavor more but I'm not gonna add the butter in because I want to keep this recipe vegan if you can see this amount for the filling it look a lot it's because I stupidly soak all the mung bean without measuring it and it's turned out that it's too much so I can't keep it because I already soak it I need to cook all of it it's about double recipe but for you guys the ratio that I tell you at first is a perfect ratio first of all I'm going to cook the mochi rice in the rice cooker I'm just basically going to mix two of the rice together and then I'm going to give like only one wash just because I want the black rice to keep all the nutrition and this 400 ml of water is perfect to cook those sticky rice in the rice cooker I'm going to do that in another kitchen Okay, the rice starts cooking now uh, For my rice cooker, it's going to take about an hour While waiting for that, I'm going to prepare the filling It's very simple First, you just toss all the mung bean in the pan and then all the sugar and then I'm going to use the low gentle heat at first and you just toss around until all the sugar is dissolved Okay, all the sugar crystal is all gone now I'm going to add the shredded coconut in all of it and then I'm going to keep mixing it on the stove until everything is dry and combined and now it's finished, you can see that it's dry and for the one who wants to add butter, it's the time for you to add it now. I'm just gonna transfer this to the new bowl for it to cool down because I can't work while it's still piping hot like this. When it's dry enough, it's not gonna stick to the pan. It will just go to move around in the pan. That's mean it's ready for you guys. Okay, my rice is done now. You can see that it looks amazing, like really black. And this method of making the mochi, I've got from Just One Cookbook channel. You should check her channel, it's really good. And while it's still piping hot, I'm just going to go straight away into the mixer. And I will use the hook attachment to beat it. I'm going to beat it on low speed for 3 minutes first. Okay, after 3 minutes, I'm going to use the spatula that I uh, dip it in the warm water so the rice is not going to stick on my spatula and I'm going to remove like all it looks quite like doughy already I can see that the mochi rice it's developed into like a sticky dough easily but I can still see like a big grain from like Thai rice okay and then I'm going to beat it for another three minutes 
and use a spatula to turn it and remove the one that's sticky on the side. And I will repeat it for three more times. So in total, I will use hook attachment for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, it's turn into like a really sticky paste now. Let me show it to you. See, look how sticky it is. But the problem is I can't get the smooth dough. Just because the black Thai sticky rice still contain like a fibrous bond. So it's impossible for them to get like completely, completely smooth. But hopefully it worked. And next step, I'm going to change from hook attachment to the beater attachment and I'm going to beat it for only 30 seconds on the medium speed. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you when I beat with the hook attachment because my camera died on me. And but now I'm going to show you. It looks a little bit more promising with the beater. It's done now. I'm going to remove it from the bowl. As you can see that now it's done, it's very, very, very sticky. Wow, look how sticky it is. And next step, I'm going to transfer this dough onto the tray that has the potato starch dusting on it, so it's not stick on the tray. It's so sticky. It's make a mess everywhere. Now I'm going to dust it with the potato starch so I can work with it and it's not going to stick on my hand. Oh no, it stick on the tray. Really? Like really? I thought it does enough. This is not scraper but it's fine enough. It's about 25 grams per piece. And for the filling, I make into like a round bowl. It's about 20 grams each, like about this size. And this looks so messy, I'm going to remove it at the back. So I'm basically going to use the mochi. It's really sticky and I'm just going to place this at the center, wrap around it. I will lightly dust my hand because it's thick everywhere right now. And then I'm just going to shape it. This should be alright. I'm going to repeat all of it. And now we're done. I'm pairing this mochi with the senchak tea because I think it's going to go well together. I think this is the only time that I'm going to make mochi because it's thick everywhere. And I need to clean my hand almost like 20 times because when it's stuck to my hand, I need to clean it or else it's just going to stick everywhere. Enough talking, I'm just going to dig in straight away. I heavily dust it uh, just because it's thick everywhere. I really like it. It's not too sweet and the aroma from the coconut inside the filling is kicking straight away and like the shell outside as I told you it's not really smooth because it still have like a rice bond from the black Thai sticky rice and it gives like the extra texture. It's amazing. The tea make everything even better. And some of them I dust with the soybean powder that mixed with a little bit of sugar. This is much better, the one with soybean. The soybean enhances the nuttiness flavor and it makes everything even better. But I would say that the mochi dough outside is not as sticky and chewy as the one that they traditionally like pounded. You know, with the hammer and the one with the hand. But it's still really good. That is it guys, thank you for watching this video, even though it's quite disaster. But well, if you like it, please click like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. And don't forget, 
the happiness and the healthiness start from your mouth. Bye. Mm -mm -mm.